What's up guys and welcome to another Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire video. Now, just yesterday, the Mega Evolutions for Sceptile and Swampert were revealed, along with a host of other things in Coral Coral. I've already made a video on the whole magazine in general, but I have just going to make another video looking more in depth at Mega Sceptile and Mega Swampert, thinking about how they're going to be used competitively, how useful they're going to be, what the changes that have been made, how they're going to affect Sceptile and Swampert. More Sceptile because it's had more changes, whereas Swampert's just really got bigger pretty much um whereas that has got a lot to talk about so i'm going to go through um looking at obviously first off typing wise then ability and then looking at base stat totals and maybe talking about moves and stuff looking at competitive use in the future so first off, we're going to start with Mega Sceptile. Sceptile, obviously a pure grass type, but moving into Mega Sceptile, which is a grass dragon type. Now, the addition of this dragon type does have a few, I'd say, prominent um, typing changes or changes to how it's going to take moves. The addition of dragon type means it's four times weak to ice type moves. Now, Sceptile couldn't really take grass type moves, um, ice type moves rather, to begin with in the first place. So this is just really adding insult to injury. Then again. Loads of Pokemon can't take ice type moves you've got. For example, Noiva can't take ice type moves very well. Dragonite, same thing about Mortis Scale. Everything Salamence as well, you know, they can't take ice type moves very well. So you can just say, you know, it's four times weak to ice, it's going to be terrible sort of thing. Obviously, you're going to have to watch your use of it around Pokemon with Ice Shard. Fast Pokemon with Icicle Crash like Weavile, stuff like that. You're going to have to watch it, you have to be careful when using Sceptile. But without ice type moves, it's going to be, you know, really easy to use, I guess. This addition of the Dragon type also means it takes neutral damage from fire type attacks, so you don't have to worry about Flamethrower doing loads of damage to you because you're going to take neutral from it, which is quite nice because it just allows you to sort of, you know, softly you'd have, to, you'd have to switch out against Infinite or to switch out against Charizard, even though Charizard has air slash, so obviously you might want to there, but you don't have to because there's no, you don't have to fear the fire blast as much anymore. Now, this uh, addition of the Dragon type also makes it four times resistive to some moves. For example, Grass type moves, it used to resist two times, now it resists four times. So you're going to be really, really going to have to take Grass type moves really well. Same with Water type moves, you're going to take them really well as well. So, you know, Surf, what's a Surf to a Mega Sceptile? What is it, exactly? And then finally, Electric type moves as well. As we'll talk about in one second, doesn't actually matter in this case, but obviously it resists Electric type moves four times with this addition of the Dragon type. However, as well as being more weak to ice type moves, um, it's also then weak to dragon type moves and fairy type moves, which is a bit of a disadvantage for Sceptile. Obviously, fairy types being in shooting generation 6, they are reasonably prominent in the metagame right now. They are having a fair impact on the game. So you're going to have to watch out with Pokemon that have fairy type moves, especially you know ones that might be able to do a lot of damage to you. For example, you know, Sylveon, for example, Gengar with Dazzling Gleam, for example. Stuff like that, you have to watch out for that as well. Same with dragon types, but then again, this is just a general dragon type thing you have to watch out for because you are a dragon type, pretty much. But, as well as typing and how type effectiveness and stuff like that changes, also changes to its moves. Now, being a dragon type, Mega Sceptile is going to have access to stab dragon moves, and the three dragon moves, or three or four, you know, it learns another one which is dragon breath, but who uses dragon breath? Um, the three moves we're going to look at here, it gets stabbed from, and these moves are starting off Dragon Claw, so that's a reasonably powerful move, it's going to be able to get stab on, then Dragon Pulse, which I'm pretty sure learns via Breeding, um, or Tutor in Generation 5, so, you know, special attacking Sceptile, Mega Sceptile, it's going to get stab Dragon Pulse, which is going to be pretty powerful. And then finally, Outrage, which it also learns in Tutor in Generation 5. It's going to be very powerful. Stab Outrage from a Sceptile, which is... Sceptile is reasonably physical. It's not amazingly physical, but it does have some physical traits to it. So, you know, stab physical, physical stab from Outrage on a Sceptile. This is pretty decent. Then, moving on to looking at Sceptile's ability, which is Lightning Rod, which kind of goes in with us talking about the electric type effectiveness on it. It, res it would resist electric types type attacks four times, but with Lightning Rod as its ability, it takes neutral damage from it, so it's not going to take any damage from electric type attacks at all. And, as well as this, you guys got to remember, the other effects of Lightning Rod, well, it also attracts all electric type moves to it, so you can, you know, in a double bout, you could safely have a Pelipper stood next to you, and they can't use Thunderbolt or Volt Switch or anything on the Pelipper, because it's just going to get attracted to you. And as well as that happening, you are going to get in a special attack boost whenever an electric type move is used on you or used on the field sort of thing. Obviously with the you know experienced wife of battlers and such, not, if they know a mega sceptile is around, they're gonna refrain from using electric type moves because otherwise they're just gonna help the opponents out. But with with less experienced players they may forget the Mega Sceptile has lightning rods, stuff like that. It could be quite helpful in some situations, could cost you the game pretty much because you know giving special attack boost is just gonna make Sceptile really powerful. However, well not uh, however, it's the only uh, not the only another good point about 
This is, it means it's immune to Thunder Wave. Which means Sceptile cannot be paralysed via Thunder Wave. It can still be paralysed via stuff like Glare and other moves like that that cause the Glare body slams like that. But Thunder Wave is arguably the most prominent way to paralyse someone in competitive. You have Klefki with Thunder Wave, you have Porygon 2 with Thunder Wave, countless other Pokemon that might carry Thunder Wave as well, Furfur for example. So they can't use Thunder Wave on you. So we could say you can't paralyse Mega Sceptile, but you can. Uh, but it's just a bit harder to, but that means it's very hard, very much harder for the opponent to slow down your Sceptile. You can't half the speed of a Sceptile, because it's going to have, you know, what, well, can't be paralyzed via Thunder Wave, so it's going to stay at its base speed sort of thing. So it's going to be staying pretty fast. We know Sceptile's fast already, and this is just going to help it even more. One thing, however, though, um, is it sort of the fact that, well, Sceptile's hidden ability Unburdened is now completely useless if you're using a Mega Sceptile. There's no point in having it on the Sceptile because you have to hold the Mega Stone to evolve it, and obviously, unless Unburdened activates when you Mega Evolve, which is most likely not the case, then you're not going to get the speed boost at all. You're not going to be able to lose your item and get the speed boost, there's no knockoff at all, whatever, uh, for Mega Stones, whatever. So, you can't get the speed boost from Unburdened anymore, which is a shame, because it means you can't, if it was slightly different, you could probably Stay in with your, stay as a normal Sceptile, get your Unburden boost, and then Mega Evolve, which would be powerful, but obviously you can't do that, which is a shame, which means you have to use Overgrow. We don't have to, but it's, you know, may as well use Overgrow as your Sceptile's base ability, just means you unfortunately can't take advantage of any Unburden speed boost you might get, which is a shame, but you have to deal with it. So, next we're going to look at the base stat totals and the stat changes for Mega Sceptile. Now, because... Normal Sceptile is a special attacker, but Sceptile looks like a physical attacker. I'm going to do two sets here, two sets of stat changes. One where it goes mainly special, and one where it goes mainly physical. These could both be run as mixed sets as well, which is probably what a lot of people are going to run Sceptile as, as I'll talk about in just a minute. But still, first off, I'm going to look at this special division. Now, Sceptile's base stats are health points 70, attack is 85, defense is 65, special attack is 105, special defense is 85, speed is 120, and that makes having a base stat to love 530, same as Blaziken. Now, Blaziken's, or Blaziken's stat total increased by 100 uh, to be 630 as Mega Blaziken, so that's sort of the base we're going on. It's going to have a base stat total of 630 after it's Mega Evolved. So we have 100 points to put into these stats. Now, assuming we're doing the special build here, obviously the majority of these points are going to go into special attack and speed. So special attack, I'm saying, is going to increase to 130 there, and speed is going to increase to 150. So it's going to get a boost of 25 in special attack, and a boost of 30 in speed, making it very fast and very special attacking. You could, you know, instead of having 130 and 150, you could then have 140 and then 140 there, sort of balancing it up. We increase the special attack by 10, and decrease the speed, just so it's not too fast, but it has more special attacking benefits. Um, and then other small changes, attack going from 85 to 100, gaining 15 there, so a decent attack boost, not amazing, but decent, so sort of could be used as, as um, a mixed attacker there. Health points has to stay the same as 70, because th it'd be a lot harder, because then the health points that would increase from maybe... 200 to uh, 200 to 250 in battle, so they've never done out of any mega evolutions yet. So you really have to watch out with that. Um, I doubt they will do it because just it might make it harder to do stuff. You see, then defense increases from 65 to 80, um, which is what I predict, obviously. But there's a, no another boost of 15 in defense, and same with special defense as well, getting a boost of 15 too, and that's just going to allow you to boost up to 100 special defense. So. You're not going to have amazing defences, but they're going to be slightly better, and obviously allow you to take some, some, some more hits there. So, that's the special spread for Sceptile. Boost in special attack, boost in speed mainly, bit of boost in attack defence, and special defence. But apart from that, that's it. So, let's look on the physical spread, if they were to make it more of a physical mega evolution. Because looking at its design, I can't tell what they're going to change into. It could be either. It could go either way, you see. So, this is the physical one. Um, I would say it's attack increasing from 85 to 120. So, you know, gaining a, a big increase in attack. It's an increase of 35, actually, to give it a reasonable attacking stat. Special attack would increase by 5 still to give it 110 special attack. So, this would work very well for a mixed attacker. Very, you know, two very high physical attack stats. Speed, I'm saying, still increases by 30 to 150 base speed, just so it has the same base speed in both sort of spreads there. Uh, but then this means it's going to, you know, sort of, basically you're increasing the special attack less but increasing the attack more. So you're making a physical, a mixed, a mixed attacker here, pretty much what this is. But it's mainly physical, you know, you can't increase physical too much because that would look a bit weird. So defense still goes to 80 there and then special defense still goes up to um, 100 and obviously, as we said earlier, 
the, ta uh, the health points stays the same because that's how it rolls. Again, giving a base stat total of 630 as Mega Blaziken has, keeping it equal there. But as I said, I could see that going either way, really, either being a mainly you know, probably special or a mixed attacker, or if they really want to push it, they could put a physical attacking Sceptile in, purely physical, but I very much doubt that. It's going to work best as a mixed attacker, in my opinion. So let's move on to looking at Mega Swampert now. So Mega Swampert is going to be a lot easier to go over, it's a lot quicker because there's a lot less to look at. First off, its typing is the same, it's just still water ground type. So yeah, there's nothing to talk about typing wise, it's going to get the same stab moves, it's going to have the same weaknesses, same resistances, whatever. May as well go looking at the straight on to the next ability which is, or the ability which is Swift Swim. This is going to be a reasonably helpful ability uh, for Swampert, not amazing, but it's going to be pretty helpful in my opinion because Setile, uh, not Setile, Swampert, Mega Swampert looks like it's going to be a bulk build. A high attacking, high defensive Pokemon that's going to be able to take hits and deal them out as well. However, because of its size, it seems like its speed is not going to increase by much, if at all. So Swift Swim is going to be good there, because if you have the rain up, your speed gets doubled, and you're going to be really fast, really, really strong, and then really defensive as well. Which is going to be good for a rain team, so that, this would definitely be a good choice for a Mega to use on a rain team, as opposed to sort of like Mega Blastoise, Mega Manetric with Thunder, something along those lines. So it's going to be good there. It's not as good, well, it's, it's debatable. Obviously, there's still four times weak to grass time moves because of no Sap Sipper, but really, Swampert's always had to deal with that, so it's just something you have to carry on dealing with as a Mega Swampert. So that's pretty much, it, pretty much it for the ability. Not much else we can say there because it's just Swift Swim. You know, there's no, no method behind it, it's just getting the rain up and then using it. So we're going to look at the stat changes. So, funnily enough, Swampert is the only home starter, actually, the only starter. Um, or the start Pokemon with the highest base stat total, with a base stat total of 535 as opposed to 530. Why this is, don't ask me, go and ask Game Freak, because I just don't know. So either it's going to increase to 630 like the other Mega Evolutions, or it might go all the way up to 635. We don't quite know, sort of thing, so I'm going to say it's going to go to 635, but obviously it could still go to um, 6, 630, whatever. So. How what the stat changes? Obviously, health points are going to stay the same at 100. Oh, I should really run through the stats uh, first off. So, 100 in health points, 110 in attack, 90 in defense, 85 in special attack, 19 in special defense, and 60 in speed. So, as you can see, very attacking, pretty defensive in both defense and special defense, um, but pretty slow in speed. Special attack is fairly low as well, there's nothing to shout about, but it has a high health point stat as well. As I said, health points would stay at 100. Then I would see attack going up to 140, so a boost of 30 in attack, just to give a really respectable attack stat, because look at those arms. They're going to do some damage, guys, come on. <laughs> um, and then we have defense, I would increase, uh, I would, um, I would, can't remember the name, I can't remember the word now. I would predict, let's say I predict, I would predict it would increase by 30 as well, going up to 120. Um, and the same with special defense actually, so it increases by another 30. Um, so really, you've just had a huge increase in attack, huge increase in both defenses. And we've just got 10 left for either special attack or speed. So I put 5 in special attack just to boost it up slightly, you know, because I assume there'd be a bit of a boost, but not a huge boost. And then speed would either get. Uh, a bit of a boost or no boost at all in my opinion that would be what I'd think for speed you know because you've got you know, 30 in attack, 30 in defense, 30 in special defense, that's 90 plus 5 in special attack so either plus 5 in speed or maybe plus 0 in speed speed might even drop look at those huge arms it's going to be half it to carry around so speed might drop and then swift swim will just have to sort of pick up the slack sort of thing but that's what I predict for mega swampert so really, that, that's it, you know, that's it for Mega Swampert. Not much else to say, because it's very simple, whereas Sceptile is a lot more complicated. Swampert is basically the, the same as normal Swampert is. Go in, do damage, do attacks, do stuff like that. So that really ends off this video, guys. That's my speculations for how the Pokemon are going to end up being used competitively, how their stats are going to change, how their typing is going to affect things, everything along those lines. I might do another video on you know, Mega Starters if it's required. I'm not sure if it is or not. It depends what you guys say in the comments. But tell me what you think in the comments section below, guys. What do you think Mega Sceptile is going to turn out to be? Do you think it would be special or physical? And how, you know, are there any other suggestions you'd say for this, uh, the stat? spreads, you know, any other increases, do you think I've increased Swamp Perk's attack and defenses too much, or you know, just just tell me down in the comments below guys, I'd love to hear what you guys think, so please tell, uh, drop a comment down below, tell me what you think, smash that like button if you haven't already, and I'll be seeing you guys next time, thank you for watching, goodbye my friends.